Okay, assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. We're going to continue with the IB uh, mechanic questions. Last time we reached till question 10. Now the question says, curling is a game played on a horizontal ice surface. So this is the curling game. Usually they play this game in Canada. Okay. So a player push, pushes a large smooth stone across the ice for several seconds and then release it. The stone moves until friction brings it to stop. So eventually the stone will stop because of the friction. You have a, a, vari you have a graph that shows the variation between the speed of the stone and time. The stone moves until friction brings it to rest. So at the speed increase and then start to decrease again till it reach zero after 17.5 time here in second for total distance is a 29.8 this is total distance just to go back and forth distance i have to multiply by two determine the coefficient of dynamic friction between the stone and ice during the last 14 second of the stone motion last 14 second it means in this region here here the last 14 second when the stone start to slow down so the equation of motion the only force that acting on the stone when it starts to deaccelerate and after that eventually stops is the friction force. So Newton's second law says friction force equal mass times acceleration. I don't have the acceleration. Acceleration, I can find it from change in force with respect to change in time. How can I find change, sorry, in velocity with respect to change of time? And I can find the velocity total distance back and forth divided by time. Now, Distance is 29.8, back and forth, I multiplied by 2, divided by time, total time is 17.5, and this will give me 3.41 meter per second. So I can find the acceleration from this formula. Velocity over time, so 3.41 divided by 14, and this will give me point 243 meter per second square so i can use now this formula to calculate the coefficient of friction so the friction equal mass times acceleration friction it's mu coefficient of the friction times the normal force normal force when the stone moves normal force is upward and the weight of the stone downward and they're equal they're balanced because they don't have motion in the vertical direction so normal force will equal fg and that equal mass times gravity mass times acceleration three fold acceleration so times m g will equal mass times acceleration, this and this decancel. So mu will equal acceleration divided by free fall acceleration. And this will give me 0.243 divided by, divided by 10 or divided by 9.81. And this will give me 0 0.025. And we don't have, uh, uh, unit because it's ratio okay with regard to uh, part b of the same question i need i need to draw all the forces acting on the stone so here we have the direction of motion this is acceleration opposite to the direction of motion we have the friction and we said friction equals mu times in normal force normal force is upward this is the force that the ice exerted on the stone so i have fn and here i have downward the weight or 
if g and this will equal mass times the free fall acceleration that's it folks see you shall in the next video thank you